Good uh, news. Good yeah. news. I mean, we need a tougher OSHA. That's 100%. I mean, Absolutely. We need a tougher OSHA and more accountability. OSHA fines could get a lot bigger for unsafe employers. That's the takeaway from some new rules that go into effect at the end of March. The U.S. Department of Labor announced that its occupational that its Occupational Safety and Health Administration has issued new enforcement guidelines to make its penalties more effective in stopping employers from repeatedly exposing workers to life-threatening hazards or failing to comply with certain workplace safety and health regulations. And so... Now, the OSHA, regional uh, the OSHA regional administrators and area office directors have the authority to cite certain types of violations as instance-by-instance instance citations for cases where the agency identifies, quote, high-gravity, serious violations of OSHA standards specific to certain conditions where the language of the rules supports a citation for each instance of noncompliance. So uh, they say that those conditions can include lockout and tagout, machine guarding, permit required, confined spaces, uh, respiratory protection, falls, trenching, and for cases with other than serious violations specific to record keeping. And so when we're talking about instance by instance citations, we just mean that, you know, if they're, uh, let's say, maybe a train derails and releases toxic chemicals nah i mean now you're really using the imagination <laughs> just just go with me down this hypothetical okay and and you know a hundred employees or community members are exposed to toxic gas well potentially you know and, and i'm not exactly sure but this is just so that you understand what instance by instance citation is. Potentially before, maybe this, because uh, this was one happening, this was one event, there's only one citation. But when you go, when you do, when you utilize this ability to issue citations instance by instance, then you could say, oh, well, there were a hundred people exposed to this hazardous gas. Well, that's a hundred citations, uh, you know. That kind of thing, right? Or you uh, did not have evidence, you, you did not keep a record of, of fatal accidents, you know, six times. Well, that's, uh, and we just found out about it on this one day. Well, that's six citations instead of one one citation, right? And And by issuing multiple citations, they can issue multiple times the maximum penalty. And so we've seen how the penalty for child labor is only $15,000. That's like the maximum citation that you can issue per instance. And so, uh, you know, and so when you issue it instance by instance, instead of, you know, we, we've got 100 children, so we're going to issue one child labor violation. Instead, they issue, they do, and for child labor stuff, they issue it instance by instance. And so they're going to expand that authority into some other safety and health regulations. Good uh, news. Good yeah. news. I mean, we need a tougher OSHA. That's 100%. I mean, absolutely. We, we need a tougher OSHA and more accountability. A decision, they say, to use instance by instance citation should normally be based on consideration of one or more of the factors listed below. The employer has received a willful repeat or failure to abate violation within the past five years where that classification is current. The employer has failed to report a fatality in inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye pursuant to the requirements of 29 CFR 1904.39. The proposed citations are related to a fatality or catastrophe and the or the proposed record keeping citations are related to injury or illnesses that occurred as a result of a serious hazard. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9:30 a.m. till 12:30 p.m. and we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.